just got a wonder's world. The world has got a wonder. Bullshit beer review. Fat man sits in a shed. Talking about the beer he's currently drinking. That's my video. I've just done this one. I'm just going to sit over there. I don't know if you can see that. I'm now going to do this one. Because I can. This is a can. Recently, before Christmas, this is coming out after Christmas, uh, my friend Andrew, formerly the Beery Beast in the East on Instagram, and his lovely wife Deanne sent me some beer, a big huge box of beer that sat right beside me. Um, I'm waiting to delve into the fucking big beers, because there are some huge ones in there from the people that have seen the bottle over here. Mustn't mumble. Don't want to go at me for mumbling in my videos, fuck off. Um, yeah, so there's some big beers in there. 15 percenter. Uh, where's the Krampus? Krampus is another big bath, isn't it? Uh, that's 12 percent. Gonna die. I don't think Andrew likes me, he's just trying to kill me off, really. Um, so thank you ever so much. So, I think this is number three out of the box. Um, done the done. What English is that? Did the duration beer, which was dripping pitch West Coast IPA. That was lovely. Did the kick flip. No, that's not. That's kick flip to do with skateboarding. Not nothing to do with Jackie Chan. Um that was very good. And I fancied another West Coast IPA, knowing there was one in the box. Go check off press record because I can't fucking remember. No I have that dick. Right. So this is number two. You're welcome. So this is from Burnt Mill in Ipswich. I know that. Just Googled it. Uh, brewery. And this is Pacific Crest. Simcoe Centennial Columbus West Coast IPA. Coming in at 6.4% ABV. Same ABV. I don't know if you can see that. It's kickflip. So I thought I'd do this one. And then within this video, I'll put them up against each other. You're welcome. So, yeah, Simcoe, Centennial, and Columbus. I'll do this over there. Columbus and Chinook. Totally different hoppy, hoppy poppies. But, yeah, love the can art. Love the can art from Burnt Mill. Always really nice, uh, like, photograph, photograph style um, things. It's got, some, it's got some writing on the back. At Burnt Mill, we have a passion for the West Coast classics. The Pacific Crest is no exception. An IPA... Malt Bill with Extra Pale, Dextrin, Vienna and Caramel lead the way for Simcoe Centennial and Columbus to shine. Complex flavours of pine, citrus fruits and dank hops I finish off with a crisp bit, uh, bitterness, leaving you wanting more. I love a West Coast IPA. I'm always a bit blown away when... What the fuck is that in my glass? I was on the bottom. Um, when people... Send us, or send me, really, some beers. I know there's some stuff in there for Wanda. So, Deanne and Andrew, thank you ever so much. I've decided to have a West Coast evening. I've just cleaned these glasses. Shit, I think they look like an amateur. How dare they? Right, in the glass. That's... There's a slight particle haze to the kickflip. Whereas in this one... A lot clearer. <clears throat> so, but it looks nice. The right shade for a West Coast. Very gentle carbonation moving up and hitting that very foamy white head. Better turn that round. The subtle difference in aroma. Not as much pine on this one. Glasses. Oh, it smells nice. But it's slightly more subdued. Yeah, slightly more subdued than the, um, the kick flip. But you're picking that pine up. 
get a more, a more, I would give the, I would call this a more traditional West Coast aroma to it, because it's got more of that marmalade aroma. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't die, Scott, not on camera. Nice sweetness in there. And you're getting the, what the fuck was that? Um, there's a nice uh, citrus going on in it. Grapefruit as well. You're fucking shot. Anyway, down for the kill. Cheers. Another. <laughs> Another great. English version of a West Coast style. That's lovely. It really is very lucky, very, very privileged. What I like about that West, uh, West Coast style is that a lot of people don't like it. Like that pine resin, the pine needles... And that's sitting in your mouth. And, and a decent West Coast IPA, it'll sit there for a little while. And then where everything else is tailed away, oh, excuse me, um, where everything else is tailed away, so you've got grapefruit, you've got um, bitter pithy lemon, and there's a lot of um, marmalade flavours in there as well. And then you get that resinous pine, and the, you get the bitterness as well. And then when everything else is gone, you've still got that pine clinging in your mouth. And I, lo I just love, love that style of beer. For that reason, really, when I started the channel, very much into the New England um, East Coast juice bombs, um, fruity hop flavours, um, softer mouthfeel. But as I've gone through, I've learned to appreciate a lot more the style of the West Coast IPA. And that's a very good version of it. For those reasons. Um, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. It's not going to be a surprise. What I'm going to, try, what I'm going to do is just see which one I prefer. Very subtle differences. That one's actually got a bit softer in the mouth. Carbonation's slightly higher in the burnt mill. And the mouthfeel isn't quite as as soft as that's not saying it's soft, it's by New England style. It's just a bit softer in the mouth. But both really good, really good takes. 6.4%, both exactly the same. Again, more of that marmalade, orange, sort of citrus notes in the uh, burnt mill than in the kick flip. The Hard to pick a winner. Very, very, very subtle differences. But it's a huge thumbs up for me. For Pacific Crest, Simcoe Centennial and Columbus West Coast IPA from Burnt Mill in Ipswich. Uh, absolutely tremendous. If you've tried that, then let me know. If you've never tried a West Coast IPA and you're looking to try something different, then, then fucking expand your mind because there are some absolute belters out there. Um, Oregon Trail, still the best, I think, um, West Coast I've tried in this country. Um, but that's that's a, another solid entry into this shed's history. I'm going to go sit and enjoy that. Um, you get a thumbs up from me. If you've tried Pacific Crest from Burnt Mill, then let us know in the comments. If you haven't and you see it locally to you, do yourself a favour if you like a West Coast IPA and pick it up. Um, but that's going to get a huge thumbs up from me. If you thank you ever so much to Andrew and Deanne for sending the beer, 
Um, always appreciative of anybody that does anything for the channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. There's a subscribe button somewhere. If you want to see something, let me leave.